The Pokeball Plus is a brand new accessory slash controller for both Pokemon Go and Let's Go. Nintendo was kind enough to send Source Gaming a copy of this for review purposes. Since the Pokeball Plus has so many uses, I'll be dividing this review into different sections. First, I'll be going over the physical nature of the Pokeball Plus, then how it works with the new Switch titles, and finally, how it works as an accessory to Pokemon Go for mobile phones. So, let's go ahead and get physical. The Pokeball Plus brings my personal dream of owning a Pokeball one step closer to reality. It's pretty small. The diameter is about half of a Switch controller. Attached to the Pokeball is a strap with an adjustable strap lock and a ring to place your finger through. You will want to use the ring when playing with it as it makes throwing and catching a breeze. There are two buttons on the Pokeball Plus, one on the top and one by pressing the joystick down in the middle. The joystick is used when playing Let's Go and has a nice feel to it. The Pokeball Plus can also light up, play sounds, and has a killer vibration on it. No, seriously, the vibration is pretty strong on this thing. Overall, I'm pretty satisfied with the build quality of the Pokeball Plus. For people with huge hands, it might be a little bit small, but for me, it was pretty comfortable. When you plug in the USB-C for charging, the Pokeball Plus even plays a healing jingle from the Pokemon games. It's a really neat and charming touch. When players first connect the Pokeball Plus to either Let's Go Eevee or Let's Go Pikachu, they will receive the legendary Pokemon Mew. There is something important to note here. If the Pokeball Plus is pre-owned, or if the players reset the game data, they will be unable to get another Mew. Once players connect and opt to receive the gift in Let's Go, the game registers the unique serial number of the Pokeball Plus online and sends over a Mew. Unfortunately, there seems to be no other way to get a Mew as of this review. So, if you are unhappy with the Mew that you got, that's it. It's a bit of a shame and there have been stories of people inadvertently buying used copies of the Pokeball Plus and thus unable to receive their Mew. So, please be careful. As an actual controller, the Pokeball Plus is my preferred way to play if I'm not playing in handheld mode. The motion controls while using the Pokeball Plus is very intuitive and I haven't had any major issues throwing the Pokeball when using the Pokeball Plus. Let's Go was definitely built around with this limited control scheme, so the lack of buttons doesn't seem to be an issue. Unfortunately, it seems Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee are the only games that seem to support the Pokeball Plus. So, if you are hoping to main Pokemon Trainer and Smash while using the Pokeball Plus, it's not possible right now. This is because in order to connect to the Pokeball Plus, it has to be done within the games itself, and not the Switch UI. This actually kind of threw me off the first time I was connecting to it. This is a little disappointing. As impractical as the accessory would be, it would be good fun just to mess around with it just like the bongos from Donkey Konga. Players can also take a Pokemon for a walk from their game. Doing so will give you tons of extra goodies such as individual Pokemon candies and rare candies. I found the bonuses to be quite significant and make an already easy game even easier. Apparently you will need to have a Pokemon in the Pokeball Plus in order to get a full use out of it for Pokemon Go. Lastly, let's talk about this as a Pokemon Go accessory. I've been playing a lot of Pokemon Go, and I feel that the Pokeball Plus definitely enhances the experience. If you have a Pokemon from Let's Go, or if you never send Mew out, the Pokemon Plus will auto-swipe Pokestops and Gyms without the app needing to be open. This has helped save a lot of battery for my phone. In addition, it can try to catch a Pokemon if you have normal Pokeballs available. Reportedly, it has about a 40% chance catch rate. While playing during the last Community Day, I used the auto feature on Pokemon I didn't necessarily want or need the extra candies for. This netted me a lot of extra XP, and I even got a couple of shinies out of it. In addition, the auto swiping will work even while players are in a raid, making their Pokemon Go playtime much more efficient. I especially look forward to using it in the winter, as I can keep my phone in my pocket and my big gloves on and still play Pokemon Go. Connecting it to a phone can be a little bit of a pain. I have an Xperia XZ1 Compact and I had some difficulties making the Pokeball Plus connect. Sometimes I would have to fully disconnect the accessory and restart the application to make it work. Other times it would randomly disconnect from the game. I've had similar issues with my girlfriend's iPhone XS as well. Overall, I think Pokemon Plus is a good investment if you're seriously playing Pokemon Go. If you're looking for a fun or a new way to enhance the Let's Go game, it's not a bad choice, but it's not an absolute necessary. I hope this review has helped you decide if the Pokeball Plus is a good investment or not. Let me know what you think in the comments below. A special shout out to the Duke of Dorks and all of our patrons for making Source Gaming a possibility. 
My name is Push Dustin, and you can find all of our social media links in the description below. We have a lot of Smash content coming out, so I'd like to remind you to always return to the source.